My name is Matthew Taylor, and this is The Bounce Back. <laughs> what we're gonna do this weekend is delve into the strategies in creating the kind of love that you want for your life. The Bounce Back's about a book author, Matthew Taylor, who wakes up one day and realizes that his wife doesn't love him anymore. His whole concept of love is completely shattered, and he writes a book to heal himself called The Bounce Back. The title in itself says it all. It's about falling in love, it's about falling out of love and dealing with heartbreak and then bouncing back and having the courage to find love again. And it's all the trials and tribulations of coming with that. He's a guy who happened to write a popular book who now thinks he's an expert in the field of relationships. I'm a relationship therapist and I disagree completely with his philosophy. No, we need to be open to this. I am never gonna be open to some low rent hustler showing platitudes and quick fixes to the immature and emotionally lazy. It started as a small book, became a bestseller and I play his manager, Terry Swift, who's like this diehard friend and you know very passionate about getting to the top. What's up? What am I looking at? Bestsellers list. We went from 11 to 14. That's not the direction we need to go to get to number one. Then why are we doing the local circuit? Because that's all we got. So he meets Nadine Velasquez, who plays Kristen Peralta, and she's this beautiful, smart girl. It's sort of, you know, a little like, I don't know if this book is real. Like, are you just making it up? She sort of gets dragged to his seminar by her friends because she's trying to get over a relationship. We're gonna do a little personal enrichment. What are you talking about? Yeah. And she confronts him at the seminar. Quick fixes like yours are always a scam, whether it's a pill, a book, or a seminar. TV producer happens to be there, loves what she sees, and decides to put them together on television. They become a bit of a hot item going on talk shows, sort of battling it out. And of course, two people from very opposite sides of their view of love sort of fall for each other. They have like a, you know, a little bit of friction, and then they kind of find some love in there, and I, I'm in the way. Did you hit it? No. Did you get up in them jeans? No, come on, man. Stop. I mean, what brings them together is what brings anybody together who have some chemistry and spend a lot of time together. Even though they might have different opinions, they really like each other's company and they like the challenge and they find that really attractive. When you've had your heart broken, you tend to get very guarded. You know, you tend to change your philosophies and your, your set of rules because you don't want to feel that pain again. You don't want to feel that hurt. Matthew has to deal with that rejection, having a child involved. Move your butt, slowpoke. <laughs> Dad, you really need to get a girlfriend. Excuse you? His philosophy was don't dwell in the past, look to the future. That works for him, but for some reason, even though he's saying and doing all the right things, he finds himself alone. You want that excitement of being into somebody and having somebody be into you. And the bounce back is just a good time looking at the life of love. It's just a fun way to look at love, and it's a fun way to believe in falling in love all over again. I have a perfectly healthy love life. Please, no you don't. How would you know? You're a grown man who's never been in love. That's how I know. Sound good, don't it? Do it. <laughs>